So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you run this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And now you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset. Click on enter again. It's going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet to complete the next steps in the video. And now for the second step, you want to head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you just want to take a note of your network adapter name. My one's called Intel R Pro. So now once you take a note of your name, you want to head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand network adapters. And then you want to find that same network adapter with the same name. So Intel R Pro for me. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver. And then click on search automatic for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. Then you want to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on every pick from my list. You want to install the one that you think that is most applicable to your network adapter. So for me, it's going to be this one. You want to click on next. And then you want to install that. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then you want to find network and internet. You want to click on run. If it detects any problems, it will tell you how to fix it. And now once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed though, now you want to head over to search again, and type in network reset, click on it. Then you want to click on reset now and I click on yes.